have both those files downloaded, they will look something like this. You'll have the impactor and you have the yellow beta 7 IPA. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and unlock your phone and you want to just go ahead and plug it in. Once you have it plugged in, you just kind of want to set it to the side and you want to go ahead and open the impactor. And then once this thing opens, you can just click impactor once more and then go ahead and click open. And then you'll see on the back, it'll say your iPhone name, which is this one. And it'll say install city extender. Once you see that, you want to go ahead and drag your yellow beta thing and you want to go ahead and drag it. You know, drag this in here and you would kind of just want to drop it. And then it'll ask you to sign into your iCloud account that's associated with your iPhone. So you can go ahead and type that in. And I promise you, they do not like hack into your account or anything. I can promise you that because I'm doing it right now and obviously nothing has happened. So now we wait a minute and it'll take a little bit of a time to actually go through the process. And once that's done, you can see that we actually have an app right there that's already on the app screen. If you can see that Kim Jong Un thing. So once you actually have the app on your screen and you click it, you'll see that it says untrusted developer. You kind of want to hop out of that. You want to go into your settings. And once you're on settings, you want to click general. You want to scroll down to device and man profiles and device management. You want to go down to where it says your email. You want to click that and it'll say trust whatever you go ahead and click that trust and then that'll be good to go so now once you have it all trusted you can actually go and you can go ahead and open the app and then once you get here it says yellow may slow down your phone whatever you just go ahead and click okay you can go ahead and click go and it'll take a minute um apparently there's you can try this a couple of times sometimes it might not work sometimes it will so and this is a semi untethered jailbreak so for those of you guys who haven't jailbroken in the past i don't remember the last i think i jailbroke my like iphone 3gs back in the day since then i haven't really jailbroken a phone but semi untethered basically means that you can still boot up your phone you can still use your phone applications but you can't use jailbroken applications until you jailbreak again and it's really easy to jailbreak again you can actually automatically do it i'll have some videos on how to do it later and as you can see it'll respring by itself so now my phone just booted back up i'm gonna go ahead and log in to touch id i'm gonna go ahead and try to find cydia and as you can see i have cydia right right up there uh pretty cool so i go ahead and click it so it took a little bit of a second it kind of glitched up there i should have let my phone load up a little bit but as you can see I have fully working city here. You can go ahead and add repos and sources and whatever. Um, it comes with just the regular ones that it usually comes with. So yeah, that's really it. If you're afraid of jailbreaking or you just don't know why you should jailbreak, I'll probably have a video on that soon as well. And like I said, it's semi-untethered, so you will have to go back and jailbreak every single time uh, once you re reboot your phone. And now the status of the iOS 10.3 jailbreak. So apparently Pengu, which is the team that is working on the jailbreak for the iOS 10.3, they're waiting until iOS 10.3.2, the beta is done being released and they actually come out with the official version once apple releases the official version of ios 10.3.2 pango was going to release the jailbreak for 10.3.1 because they don't want apple being able to you know fix up and uh, stop that jailbreak so that's kind of smart they're kind of thinking of like long-term jailbreaking rather than short-term jailbreaking so that's kind of cool so expect that jailbreak coming out within like l no more than two weeks from now once that does come out though i have my iphone 6 here and i'll jailbreak and i'll show you guys how to do it You'll, you will probably have to plug in your phone and jailbreak every 